will be fine. I'm not a doctor, I'm a nurse. And he doesn't appear to have any stab wounds. We'll have to take him to an autopsy to establish the cause of death. Yeah, yeah. We're going to need a few people to lift that body. So, am I good? Can I go? Yeah, get out of here. Please report to the cantina, thank you. You know, this is bullshit. I mean, I never really put the gas mask on. Only when Terry sat the spot to check on me. And I never really got that imaginary infection. Imaginary? Dude, we already lost over 20 people. Yeah, cause they're dealing fucking drugs, you dumbass. Oh yeah? You're telling me Parker was a drug dealer? No, no, but he had diabetes. Someone probably stole his needle or some shit. You heard of any known disease that causes your body to rot like this? That fast? Dude, drugs are bad for you. Now you're being an idiot. What? They are! I know they are, but they don't get you fucking necrosis on your skin. And they don't make you puke pus and blood. Ah, whatever, man. I'm gonna do something better than talking to you. Wait, where are you going? You take a dump. Alexander Johnson, please report to the Western Block immediately. stand near the door for 15 minutes listening to his long-ass boring speech now, do you? Uh, uh, hey, you don't have to say anything. Just go have your sandwich and call it a day, all right? Go on, get out of here. Okay. So, the new guy, huh? Come on, let's go see the Grim Reaper. wants to piss in this guy's ears for 20 minutes. Give me that little piece of paper so he can sign it. Ah, uh, you mean the checkpoint? Yeah, the fuck point. Hey, hey Baldy, sign it up. I always wonder. This place is in like the 23rd century, technology-wise. But we still make people sign these damn fuck you points. You tell me. Pen hey, paper. you tell me. Doesn't that seem a little contradictory to you? Nah, uh, I don't know. And what the hell is that big box supposed to be? Huh? Shit, man, even my grandmama, rest her soul, had a goddamn plasma screen TV. Hmm, I guess our application. 
stations do not require more advanced hardware? No shit? Well, congratulations. The first smart thing to come out of your mouth today. Now put your lazy ass back to sleep. You, come on. Let's get this over with. So, Jake, huh? My name's Brian. As you might have noticed, I'm new here, just like you. I'm pretty sure you can tell I ain't been here long, because I don't look like a dumb robot. But you gotta understand them, too. I mean, waking up every day to walk around the same goddamn halls, making sure there's no trouble, I can turn you into a robot. Some of the guards had spies by beating up inmates over nothing. Some others, like that dead idiot Rick, go into drugs. <laughs> he paid the price. Look, just so you know, there's something going on in here. For the past couple of days, people have been getting sick, and some people die. If you see someone coughing, just stay away, and you should be fine. Jesus, he just banged his head against a bed. He must have really loved that bed or something. Alright, go ahead and clean that shit. Me? Why me? You clean it. Hell no, you clean it. No, I got a good idea. Let's make an idiot and go clean it. And fill all the paperwork just to authorize them coming to this waiting. No way. Just clean it and get it over with. If I fill the papers out, will you come and back me up? Sure, but what about the body? How about this? I fill the papers out if you take it to the morgue. Deal? Alright, deal. But you tell the news to <laughs> He's gonna be locked up in there for a while. Before anyone notices it's actually a guard. Inmates do scream a lot of bullshit around here. Look, this guy's an asshole. As far as I'm concerned, there's just a lot of wind down there. Door just shut itself. I didn't see nothing. Alright, wait here for a few secs. I got some business with the warden. Don't move, alright? his eyes. He might be human after all. Go ahead now. Good luck. Uh, hello there. I am the Warden, but I would like it better if you'd think of me as your humble host. Which would make you my guest. As your host, it is my duty to give you a tour of the place. Or at least provide you with enough information about how things work around here. It is better if you do not try to think about when you will leave this place. I know a man needs hope to survive, but... <laughs> Uh, let's just face it, all right? You're gonna be locked up for a good while. And as long as you behave and obey orders, you'll be fine. Now get out of here! 